What is up, y'all? It's Tyson with Open Range Studios, and today I got to talk about my girl here, Bernice, my adventure mobile, and some of the work that I put into her back in. Now, it was the summer of 2020 when just about everybody was looking for a project to stay busy. I built out the storage box system with drawers for a slide out cook station, and then also the whole thing converts into a full size bed. All right, now I'm gonna break down the entire build process from beginning to end, but first I wanna show you a little video tour of how it looks now. And this is after a couple years of use, so I tried my best to clean it up, but uh, you know, just bear with me, check it out. All right, so there it is. Now, I'm not a woodworker and I have never taken on a project like this. So that took me about two months to complete, a lot longer than I anticipated. I learned just about everything from videos online like this one with people sharing their experience. So I tried to film as much as I could. I did start making mistakes and get distracted by the camera. So I had to put it down sometimes. But if this helps out, please subscribe to the channel, follow along. I plan on doing some updates. It is an ongoing project. But for now, let's get into the build. First thing to tackle was the uneven surface of my car. I go with three quarter inch sanded plywood and with the bottom of the board holding all the weight, I decided to pick up a cheaper half inch board to make a cutout for more even weight distribution. I make the width of the box to fit between the metal floor anchors where it will attach and be held down. So now after some cuts and a lot of sanding corrections, I'm able to attach the sides. I slide in these 500 pound drawer sliders I bought and I begin fitting the wood around them with a lot of rough cuts. The big basic drawer is straightforward enough. I'm pre-drilling everything and I learned this little soap trick to make the screws slide in easier and prevent splitting. The double drawer is a lot more complicated, but at the same time, it's a lot more gratifying when it comes together. I use a 250 pound drawer slider for the bottom drawer, which is more like a tray to hold up a burner for cooking. The sliders and drawers attached, it's time to throw on the top. And this moment right here is a good feeling. Being able to see part of the layout after just visualizing it in my head for so long. Now 
I used this contour gauge and some cardboard to dial in the grooves around the edges, which surprisingly worked out pretty good since I am not great with a jigsaw. I now add piano hinges to the side storage flaps with a board to keep them level. I attach these U-bolts to the sides of the box to link a hook and eye turnbuckle that connects to the floor anchors. So the first support of the bed extension I attach right where you clip in a kid's car seat. And the second support is connected to the metal poles of the headrest. I add a long piano hinge to the top board for travel since the seats have to be scooted up for the bed. It also makes it easier to get it in the car. The very end of the bed extension is held up by the front seat headrest with more U-bolts and hook and eye turnbuckles. Now I start in with a router to fit these metal handles and the cutting board I bought that has a knife slide out. In the front of the boards I attach using a pocket hole jib to hide the screws. Now, it gets crazy. After getting it all fitted and put together, I take the entire thing apart to sand, stain, waterproof, and then put it back together with wood glue. And the final step is using a spray-on adhesive for the waterproof upholstery. Alright, so that's how it went folks. Uh, if you made it this far, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.